Dog of the Rescue here. Uh, YouTube has changed their algorithm again, so please smash the like button, hit the bell, comment below. It would help me out greatly and uh, keep me going on this channel here. So let's get right into it. All right, so as you can see, uh, Bitcoin is at 96.32 right now, and Ethereum's at 289. Uh, it's gone up in the past seven days, uh, three, four hundred bucks, about five or six hundred. It depends on what day you started looking at it. Um, but it's gone up dramatically, so that's great to see. And Ethereum as well has gone up, you know, 50, 60 bucks. So uh, great to see for me because I mine Ethereum. So um, I wanted to touch on, you know, in this video, basically hedge investments. And that's why I'm pushing in these past, you know, three, four videos. You know, you guys need to start buying Bitcoin, start buying Ethereum. You know, when it, the time is right, you know, it starts correcting a little bit, might be a better time to buy. And the same thing with gold and with silver, you know, these are things that um, I believe, you know, with the dilution of the dollar coming, these are going to help us all out. And you're going to you're going to love yourself for doing it in the near future when their dilution of the dollar comes and your purchasing power goes down and all these other factors that you just you just can't deny it. GDP is crap because no one's working right now and unemployment's paying you to not work. Um, so, you know, keep these things in mind, but this is what I wanted to go into real quick, but let's get into the charts real quick. Let me get my head out of the way and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, so as you can see on a four hour chart with Bitcoin, um, you know, and I'm always looking, you know, with the Fibonacci running it and it was just kind of riding in between the 618 and the halfway point. And that's why I didn't know which way it was going to run on uh, the last couple of videos I did. So now, as you can see, you know, it's just kind of riding. It's kind of riding around, uh, you know, 9,000 and 92, 93, and then boom, it finally is now pitching up and it's at actually at 9,700 as I'm taking using, making this video uh, on a Saturday. So as we all know, cryptocurrency market does not stop. So four hour market, it's gone up three ways. One, two, and now it's on its third wave. And that's, how do you judge a wave? The 10 MA on, on, a, on a wave up, you know what I mean? Even a wave down. So it hit the, you know, hit the 10 MA, kind of riding right there on the, on the moving average, and then boom, gapped away, came back to correct at the MA, and then gapped away instead of going underneath it, and it's causing these waves. So, you know, kind of elementary, I guess, if you had no technical analysis uh, when it comes to waving like that, but, you know, the 10 MA and the 100 MA is, I mean, the key technical, you know, analysis that you would want to use in my opinion, to uh, do your, you know, quick trading, day trading, swing trading, core trading. And I use day charts, not four hours. There's just more of a visual, I guess, uh, teachable moment there. So as you can see on a day chart, it's gapped away quite well from the 10 MA. So it's going to have to correct back a little bit. Question is, when is it going to do it? Um, so keep that in mind. So that's Bitcoin. You know, that's a good thing to see. Gold, you know, you want to go to gold.org and places like that, um, .orgs, to get more factual knowledge, I guess, of what gold is and, you know, supply and all these things of the history of gold, what gold does around the world, not just in the U.S. Um, and that is, you know, gold and silver, it's God's money. You know, it's tangible. It comes from the earth. And the value of it obviously speaks for itself. We all know gold. Bitcoin, well, that's the digital gold, you know, now. So it's the people's money. It's not government money. You know, the dollar that we have now is fiat currency. It's not based on anything. We used to have the gold standard and the silver standard, and it was based on something. We had a base. We don't have a base. And even our forefathers said that, that was, you know, the start of, of tyranny is uh, when you stop doing that because you can't control, you know, the, the flow of the money in the economy because it's not based on anything. So we just print it like it's no, no tomorrow. Twelve billion. We do a day and we're in the trillions now. Um, so keep it in mind. You know, it's coming. And. Don't say I know, didn't warn you. And Ethereum, you know, that's kind of like the silver, digital silver to me. And, uh, you know, the great thing about Ethereum, obviously, it has its smart contracts and ERC-20 tokens. Everybody runs their coins. A lot of coins, anyways, are run under the ERC-20 um, uh, crypto uh, cryptography. So uh, great for Ethereum smart contracts. And so it's like silver to me. It's digital silver. And I mine it. You know, uh, so I'm making money. Every time it goes up, I make more money. And then you have silver, obviously, silverinstitute.org. This will tell you about the silver industry and everything about silver. But, you know, it tells you where it's actually being used right now, nowadays. And because we're in the age of information, well, silver is the big one right now. And it's gone up two, three bucks, you know, in the past week. So that's dramatic for silver. And it's sticking. 
Uh, it's going to probably come correct a little bit, but I don't know how much, you know, the history of silver, when it spikes, boy, it spikes and it keeps going until it corrects all the way back down. So, uh, you know, again, those are the four things I wanted to show everybody. You know, the silver is strategic just because of how much it's used in the industry. And it's going up in price just because we're using more of it. And as you can see with silver price, it's the weekend, 2288. Gold's at 1909. Silver price is normally 1% to 1.5% of gold's price. So if it's at 19 bucks, 1900 right now for gold, silver should be around 19 to $20. Uh, maybe a little bit more, but... 2288 so there's a little offset and it looks like gold's starting to catch up so it's going to justify a little bit more the, the price of silver uh, to sustain at that level so great things to see last thing i want to touch on i did pick up one of these in the mail i'm just waiting for the other one to come in i'm going to do a showing about what i got out of these uh estate quote unquote estate lot sales and see if they're any uh you know worth anything to you guys if you guys are interested in getting bouillon and starting uh you know collecting so last but not least crypto fear and greed index as you can see 44 today 41 yesterday 38 last month and you know makes sense you know bitcoin went up everything's kind of gone up a little bit it's been a nice uh up market i guess this week for most coins and so you know the sentiment's going to go up kind of makes sense you know but there's nothing really dramatic that'll tell you that everybody's so giddy that you know it's going to happen we're on a boom but it's looking like 2011 so that's a good thing um, but you know guys keep it in mind um, my name is crypto dog to the rescue please smash the like button hit the bell comment below has no value to me has great value no value to you great value to me have a great day keep up the grind